Hello guys, I hope you are doing really, really well. In today's video, I'm going to show you top 13 Android note taking apps for 2024. So let's start. The first note taking app is Samsung Notes. So guys, this is one of the best note taking app for Android. You can easily drag image or text from a website to your notes. For example, I will open this internet browser in split screen and here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image and now I want this image to my notes. I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this image to my notes and later I can also edit it. Same way you can also bring any text from a website to your notes for example i open this website and now i want this text to my notes so first of all i will start selecting this text so i will select it till here now again i will press and hold it like this and i can easily drag and drop this text to my notes the next thing is you can also bring whole website to your notes for example i want to bring this whole web page to my notes so here you can see at bottom i have have this option of link and whole page i will select this whole page option and then it will start adding this whole website to my notes you just have to wait for a few seconds and then i will show you so here you can see the same website is now available in my notes now if you want you can use different tools if you want to write you can also write you can also do the highlighting and you can also use other tools as well the next thing is there are some new AI features as well. For example, I will go back from here and I will open my handwritten notes. Now I want to auto format these notes. I will select this keyboard icon and then I will select AI tool. So it will give me different options. I can auto format these notes. I can summarize them. I can also correct spelling and I can also translate. For example, I select auto format and then I will select meeting notes. So first of all, it will convert these handwritten notes into text and then it will convert it into these headings and bullets it will also give you different format options so you can select any of these formats you can also generate covers using ai for example i will go back from here and now i want to create a cover for these notes so i will press and hold it like this and then i will select more and then i will select generate cover so it will use ai to create a cover related to my notes so here is the cover Cover, I will select done and now I have this new cover the next thing is you can also do voice recording of your lectures so select this plus icon select voice recording and then it will start recording and you can also take notes in the meantime once you finish you can stop it from here and later it will be added to your notes and you can also play it you can also do categorization of your notes into folders and subfolders for example i will go back from here you can see i have this folders option i will select it and here you can see i create different folders and in each folders i create another subfolder and in those subfolder i create my notes the next thing is you can also sync your notes across different devices so select the settings icon and here you can see the first option is about sync with Samsung cloud so you can enable it from here so guys Samsung notes is a free app but it is available only in Samsung devices the next app is Microsoft OneNote so in Microsoft OneNote you can categorize your notes into notebook and in each notebook you can create different sections and in each section you can create different pages so Microsoft OneNote has all the necessary tools for example you can use this pen tool and now you can start taking your your notes you can also use the highlighter tool and you can also insert voice recordings so select this insert tab here you can see we have this voice recording option you can select it and then you can start recording your lecture once you finish you can stop it and it will be added to your notes you can also insert text from a website to your notes for example I will open this internet browser in split screen and now I want to bring this text to my notes so I will select this text so I will start selecting this text and then I will select it till here now I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text to my notes you can also export these notes as a PDF or plain text select these three dots and here is the option of send so select the send option and here you can see it is giving you the option of PDF 
or plain text and you can also sync your notes select these three dots and here is the option of sync so guys microsoft OneNote is a free note taking app the next app is NoteWise. So in NoteWise, you can open two different notes at same time. For example, I want to open this note. I will select this arrow and then I will select open in split view. So here I have this note on this side and here I can open another note and I can work on both of these notes together. So here you can see, you can also share data between these notes. The next thing is you can also do PDF annotations inside this app. So I will go back from here and then I will select this plus icon and then I will select import PDF and then from here you can select any PDF for example I will open this PDF and now here you can use all these tools so you can use this highlighter tool if you want to write you can use this pen tool and you can also create different shapes the next thing is you can also customize all of these tools as well the best thing about this app is you can export your notes directly to Google Drive and you can also sync your notes to NoteWise Cloud. So guys, this app is available in both free and paid versions. The next app is Evernote. So guys, you can use this app for note taking and project planning. So here is the dashboard and you can also add different widgets to your dashboard. For example, I have this scratch pad widget. So whenever I have some idea, I can directly write on this scratch pad. The next thing is it also has amazing templates option. I will select this plus icon and then I will select new note. So here you can see I have different templates option available. So I have meeting note, project plan, to-do list, so other options also available. For example, I will select project plan and here is the project plan template. I will select this option of use this template and now I can start working on this template. The best thing about this app is it has the option to insert table and code blocks. So I will select this insert option. So here you can see I have this option of table. Then if you scroll down, I also have this option option of adding code block. You can also insert file directly from Google Drive. The next thing is it has this new AI cleanup feature. So guys, you can use this feature to tidy up messy and scattered notes without altering their original meaning or tone. So guys, you can also sync your notes using this app. So this app is available for 30 days trial and then you have to buy the subscription. The next app is Penly. So guys, Penly is a digital planning app and you can also use it for note taking. It has these amazing digital planners. So here you can see I have this yearly calendar with different months and different pages option. So I can select different months from this side and from here I can select different pages. I can also select this to do list option and then I also have this option of notes. So from here you can select any format. For example, I will select this format with lines and now I want to write something I will use this pen tool and now I will start taking my notes the best thing about this app is you can create hyperlinks for example I will open this selection tool and then I will select my handwriting and then here you can see I have this option of hyperlink so you can create a page link and you can also create web link for example i will select this web link option and then here you can insert any website for example i will insert here google.com and then i will press done and then i will press ok now i will go back and now i will open my notes and now i will tap on this handwriting so here you can see it is giving me the option for google.com i will press ok and then it will open the website for me you can also backup your notes inside Penly app. So guys, it's a paid app and you have to pay one time. The next app is Notion. So guys, it is the best app for building workflows, project management and note taking. You can also use AI to write anything for you. For example, I want to write something over here. I will select this AI tool and then I will give it a command. So I will write over here ECG and then I will send it to AI. Now AI will start writing it for me and then I can use it in my notes. So guys, this app offers templates for inspiration, a design system 
database for product design and development. You can take notes, track your progress and organize project details. So guys, this app is available in paid and free versions. The next app is Nebo. So guys, Nebo is a free form digital whiteboard with expandable canvas. So you can zoom and pan and you can also convert your handwriting into the text. For example, I write here Nebo and now I want to convert it into the text. I will open the selection tool. I will make my selection and then I will just double tap it like this. It will convert it into the text. You can also create neat shapes. For example, I want to create a circle. I will just just draw the circle and then I will hold my pen and here you can see it will convert it into the neat shape. You can also annotate PDF file and you can also backup your notes. So guys this app is available in both free and paid versions. The next app is GoodNotes. So guys in GoodNotes you can do categorization of your notes into folders and subfolders. For example, I create this folder and inside this folder I create these subfolders and inside these subfolders I create my notes. And there are amazing book cover options available. I will select this new option and then I will select notebook and here you can see I have these amazing covers available. You can also select different digital planners, select this paper option and here you can see if you scroll down you have these options of planners so you can go for accounting monthly planner you can also go for weekly planner and then if you scroll down you also have other templates available for example I select accounting and then I will select create notebook so it will create a notebook with the same planner so guys in good notes you have all the necessary tools for example if you want to write you can use this pen tool you also have the option of this highlighter tool you can also select this shape tool and now you can create different neat shapes and you can also add different stickers so here is the sticker option so you can add any of these stickers as well you can also do collaboration select this share icon and then from here you can enable this link sharing option it will create a link and then you can share it with your friends and they can also collaborate in your note taking so guys this app is paid with subscription offer and one week free trial. The next app is Zodo. So Zodo is a PDF annotation app but you can also use it for note taking and then you can export them as a PDF. For example, I will select this plus icon. I will select create PDF and then you can select any dimension and press OK. Now here you can see we have all the necessary tools for note taking. For example, if you want to write, you can use this pen tool. You can also change the color and you can also change the thickness. The next thing is is if you select this arrow from top so all the tools are categorized for example we have this draw tool so here you can see we have different shaped options available then if I select this arrow again we have fill and sign prepare form insert we also have this measure option so here you can see we have all the tools for measuring the next thing is if you want to annotate any PDF file, you can also do it. For example, I open this PDF file. Now I want to do the annotation. So the same tools are available over here. For example, I can use this highlighter and I can highlight text on my PDF. The next thing is you can also use the toolbox option. For example, I will go back from here and here I have this option of toolbox. So here I have these amazing tools. For example, you can scan document, you can convert image to PDF, you can e-sign PDF, you can also use this text recognition OCR, you can also convert from PDF, you can also use this convert to PDF option. So there are a lot of options available in this app. So guys, this app is available in both paid and free versions. The next app is Flexil. So in Flexil, you can open multiple notes at same time. For example, I will select this plus icon and then I will select quick note. It will open a new note with all the necessary tools and I can start taking my notes. And here on top, you can see I also have other notes open. I can directly access them 
from here so here you can see i can easily access these notes the next thing about this app is you can also export text from a pdf file and you can bring it to your notes for example i have this pdf file and now i want to bring this text to my notes i will select this pop-up notes option it will open a new note now what i can do is i will start selecting this text so i will press and hold it like this and then i will start selecting this text till here now i want to bring this text to my notes i will press and hold it like this and i can easily drag and drop this text to my notes and later i can also edit it you can also do pdf annotations using this app and it has amazing templates option also available so guys the best thing about this app is you can also sync your notes to google drive so this app is available in both free and paid versions the next app is note in so guys note in is also a complete note taking app with all the necessary tools you can also drag any image or text from a website to your notes for example i want to open the internet browser in split screen and here you can see i search some images on google for example i like this image i will press and hold it like this and then i can easily drag and drop this image to my notes you can also do the categorization of your notes into folders and subfolders the best thing about this app is you can also sync your notes directly to google drive the other thing is you can also import powerpoint you can also import word document and you can also import pdf file it also has the option of infinite canvas so this app is available in both paid and free versions the next app is JNotes. So guys, in JNotes, you can open multiple notes at the same time and you can work on all of these notes. The next thing is you can also copy text from a PDF file and you can paste it to your notes. The best thing about this app is you can backup your notes to Google Drive and OneDrive. You can also take a screenshot of your notes. For example, I want to take a screenshot of this part. I will open the selection tool and then I will select this part like this and then here is the option of screenshot. So I will select screenshot. So here you can see the screenshot has been taken. Now you can copy it and you can save it. So guys, this app is available in both paid and free version. The next app is notebook. So in notebook, you can insert tables. For example, I will select plus icon and then I will select right. And then you can see we have this table icon. You can select it. And then here is the option of insert table. Now here you can make the selection for yourselves and then select insert. So here you can see the table has been inserted and now you can work on this table. You can also take handwritten notes so i will go back from here i will select plus icon here is the draw option and then you can select your tool and then you can also write using your pen the next thing is you can also insert videos so again i will select this plus icon here is the video option so i will select it and then allow limited access and you can select any video and then you can also add it to your notes you can also sync your notes and you can also export your notes as a pdf file so guys this app is available in both free and paid versions so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much